My name is Joanne Lasker, and I'm the Graduate Program Director and Associate Professor in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders. The speech and language pathologists work with individuals of all ages, from infants to the elderly, and we work with individuals who have problems with communication. So we look at all aspects of communication and we work to assess and intervene with those individuals in whatever settings they happen to be in. When we have people with very severe communication problems, speech-language pathologists use strategies that are called augmentative and alternative communication strategies. That's what we refer to as AAC. So we might use tools that range from communication notebooks to devices that talk to strategies that partners would use to help them communicate more successfully. My colleague, um, Catherine Garrett, and I uh, developed a tool called the Multimodal Communication Screening Test for People with Aphasia. This is a tool that really came out of the clinical field when we realized that we had a bunch of people who had aphasia after stroke. Some of them had ongoing, persistent, severe problems in communicating and they were going to be able to benefit, we hoped, from AAC strategies. So we developed this tool to help us determine which strategies might be most appropriate for these individuals. When we have someone with aphasia, we will have them try to communicate using this notebook. We would introduce them to the book and then we might say to them, how would you communicate a particular message to me? Like, for example, how would you communicate that you wanted something to eat? and the person with aphasia might go like this, or they might go to this page of the book and point here. And that suggests to us that they have some capability to think about the message and how they should communicate it and to strategically look for methods other than speech or in addition to speech to communicate that message. It would give us an idea of how strategic that person with aphasia is and how likely they might be to benefit from strategies other than speech to communicate a message successfully to a partner. So we're trying to determine with our test and with our assessment whether a particular person with aphasia can benefit from the use of a particular AAC strategy. A lot of our clients with aphasia are very interested in iPad technology. We have a bunch of different apps that you can purchase for an iPad um, that are intended to help people communicate more successfully. They have speech output. This is an iPad with an application called ProLoquo to go. I need help. And it will speak a message and the person can move from page to page to communicate a variety of messages. It's really important because communication is the essence of who we are as human beings. It's what we do with each other. It's how we maintain social closeness and social connectedness. These devices and other tools like them allow people with aphasia who are typically very isolated to maintain and establish social connection. We've had clients who are able to give advice to their grandchildren about which car to buy or discuss plans for an upcoming bake sale or are able to figure out how to take public transportation because they have these machines and tools and strategies they can participate more successfully in what they need to do in their lives.